Hi everyone, welcome back to JPWHU TV. My name is John, your host as always, and I hope you're all doing well as I always do. Here are my full time thoughts of West Ham 1 Silkeborg IF 0. Let's start off as always by talking about the team sheet. I got the formation kind of right. Moisey went for a 5-3-2 uh, or 3-5-2, depending on your point of view. Ariola in goal with a back three of Johnson, Guerd and Ogbonna. Uh, Sue Fowl and Emerson as the wing backs, which I, which I predicted. For now's Coventry and Lanzini in the midfield, supporting Ben Rama and Antonio up front. Not a bad shout, to be fair. What a performance by Guerd. It's such a good thing to see him back, or say back, make his proper debut for West Ham, obviously, because, you know, we, we caught him in a hand handful of friendlies not even I think it's one and a half before he picked up his injury looks unbelievably good alongside God Bonner absolutely superb really really enjoyed watching his performance he made one mistake towards the end of the second half but other than that made an absolute stalwart of a debut cameo whatever whichever way you want to look at it very impressed with the boy absolutely superb to see him see him there Antonio didn't really do all that much, especially in the first half. I know he ran about a, a fair bit here and there, but at the same point, guys, I wasn't really wasn't really impressed with him. But what a penalty from Lanzini when when the whistle whistle went, it was down the other end, so I couldn't down at the Trevor Brooking end, so I couldn't really see what caused the penalty. I didn't didn't really see much, but. I thought that I thought the officials were very inconsistent tonight. I'm not saying it wasn't a penalty. I say I can't. I haven't watched the replays. I've literally just got back from the London Stadium, switched the computer on, and filming for you. So, you know, but a great penalty from Lanzini. Only side caveat of that really was why didn't Ben Rama take it? Made a, took a brilliant penalty in the game against Bournemouth on Monday. And I kind of was, it was a debate of topic round where where I am in the Bobby Moore lower with with the guys around me. And we basically, I was basically just saying, probably one of the reasons for it is Lanzini, Ben Rama and uh, Bowen have got decent records of scoring penalties for us. So mate, I think Lanzini's is the best. So if I remember correctly, I could be wrong. I'm just clutching at straws here to a lack of extent guys um but i do kind of feel that it was a right thing to do to take for lanzini to take it it's quite nice that you don't have the same penalty taker every single time because it keeps the goalkeeper guessing i know the goalkeeper is going to be doing his researches on the possible i mean obviously not in this instance but in general the goalkeepers do their research on who could be possibly taking penalties how they go etc etc i pointed down that side of the goal from from our perspective, and Lanzini put it in that end, and it was absolutely brilliant, really, really good. We, as I said in the preview, we really struggled against Silkborg in terms of keeping hold of the win. They were a very, very difficult team to play against in the away leg. For the home leg, we made them look average at best. This is the side that scored 10 goals against Sao Bucharest in their previous two legs, uh, two games against them. And we were very, very good at keeping the clean sheet. Ariola, I thought, from when he was called upon, which wasn't all that often, I thought Ariola did a really, really good job overall. Now let's talk about the substitutions. Kara coming on for Aguirre in the 76th minute made total sense. Total, total sense. Three quarters of the game, let him take, you know, it's a good, good recovery plan, shall we say. Good recovery plan. Um, and that's sort of downs coming on for four nows again made much sense. Rice for Coventry made sense. Skamaka for Ben Rama made sense to a degree. Should have really been Antonio. Antonio should have really stayed on the pitch, but Suchek State came on instead. Now, to be honest with you, taking Lanzini off would have been a, would have been a bit of a mistake as well because he played he played really well during the game to be fair so i can understand the reason behind it but taking socek putting socek on for antonio didn't really make seem to make that he didn't do all that much well he didn't have all that much time to screw things up as he has been doing over the last few weeks so i can't criticize socek for that but i do i am critical of that we should have had both of them on the on the um on the pitch for the entire game well, at least, this, at least for that last 20, 25 minutes. You know, 22, 25 minutes, but you're not including the three minutes of added time at the end. But guys, 
very, very happy with this nonetheless. I say there are a few things that need to be worked on, as there always is, and I'm sure Moyes is going to say that in his post-match conference as well with, with the BBC and all the rest of it. But in the meantime, guys, thank you very, very much for your support as always. Um, if you like what I'm doing, Barmies, please do like, share and subscribe. And of course, please do put your comments in the comment section below. Or if you're watching the premiere of this, see, let's see what you're saying in the live chat. Um, but guys, thank you very, very much for your time. The preview for the Man United game will be available tomorrow. Hopefully this will go up by Thursday night. It might be up Friday morning because it's I'm actually, actually been able to get home quite early from the game for a change. Really timed the tubes brilliantly well. So that's fantastic from that point of view. Uh, the only other caveat I want to say is it was brilliant to see a musician that I listened to when I was a kid. That's all I'm saying. And it was great that you recognised me at half time as well. Absolutely brilliant. I had to say it. Um, but yeah, it was buzzing. But absolutely buzzing before that, before the game. We've won it 1 0. We've won the group with a game spare. Hopefully, Moyes is going to put a very strong game against uh, Sao Bucharest when we play them away for the final fixture. We'll be doing the preview for that, of course, as well. I don't think he will, but we'll go into that in more detail. But in the meantime, guys, thank you very, very much for your time. I hope to see you very, very soon. And we'll be doing the watch long for Man United as well, which again, I'll go into when we do the preview. And look after yourselves. All the best now. Take care.